Hello, Ashley here with hearthookhome.com and today we will be working up one of my new cardigans, the It's Shawl Good cardigan. Now we're going to be making the smallest size together so that we can go over the important parts of the pattern and make sure that we understand all of um, the stitches and why we're doing things the way that we are. So to start we're going to need our yarn, we're going to need a stitch marker, very important for this project, and a crochet hook in the size J which is a six millimeter. So the yarn choice that you use or that you have for this pattern makes a huge difference on the outcome of your cardigan. You want to pick a yarn that is a nice heavy weight but a thin yarn. So I recommend a thin cotton because it has a nice uh, weight to it that will give it a good drape um, throughout your cardigan. You can use something like Mandala or the Lion Brand Cupcake. I have used those and there are photos of that on hearthookhome.com in the pattern, but it doesn't seem to hang quite as nice. So for this pattern today we're going to be using the Sugar Wheel Cotton Cakes. This is a technically a size 4 but it really feels more like a size 3 yarn to me. So this is a nice heavy cotton that will work really well and give it a good drape, right? Stitch markers are extremely important in this pattern. Stitch markers um, mark your center stitch as we keep creating new rows and so making sure that you have that center stitch correct is imperative. If you don't have a stitch marker grab a bobby pin or anything else that you can use just to mark those center stitches as we go. Like I said, we're using the J crochet hook, which is a six millimeter hook. So I'm going to go ahead and get my yarn ready. I'm going to pull out my ends here. I'm not sure if this is coming from the inside or outside. Let's find the end. There it is. Okay, so I have my yarn end here. Let me put this away. Now, to start this pattern, since this is a triangle shawl pattern, we are going to be working from the top down. So we're working from the center of the neck and we're going to be increasing as we work our way down the back until we get to the bottom and it's going to be pointed just a little bit um, at the very bottom edge. So to start, the first oh I don't know several rows are the same for all of the sizes except for the large size on the adult. So all of the um, patterns are the same up until a certain point. So we will go ahead and get started with row one. All of the child sizes are free, available individually on hearthookhome.com. The adult size is a paid pattern on Ravelry. And once you get the child size down, the adult size will be a breeze. It's all about counting and marking your stitches. So to start with row one, we are going to chain two, and we are going to do five single crochets in the second chain from hook. So the one farthest away, I'm gonna turn it and go into the back bar here, and we are going to do five single crochets. all in that same space, that same chain or stitch, chain. So now we have one, two, three, four, five. If you want to mark your stitch marker, you could put it right here in this middle stitch. I'm not going to do that since I only have five, but I will do it from here on out. So to start row two, we are going to chain one and turn. So we're looking at the other side. We're going to do three half double crochets right in this first stitch right here. So one, two, same one, one more, same one. Perfect. Now we're going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch, which is this one right here. Now we're going to do three in this one. This was the center stitch from the last row. So we're going to do three half double crochets right here. One, two, and three. Now I've got three in that center stitch so I'm going to go ahead and use my stitch marker 
and put that in right in that center stitch right there. We did three in this stitch, so the one right in the middle gets that stitch marker. Now we're going to do a half double crochet in the next, which is this little guy right here. And in the last stitch, we're going to do three half double crochets. So this is the end of row two, and we should now have 11 half double crochets total. To start row three, we are going to chain three. Get my yarn out of the way. Turn so that you're looking at the back side. Now in this first stitch right here, we're going to put three treble crochets. Triple, treble, I don't care how you say it, we're just going to do triples. Okay, so you wrap it around your hook twice, go into that very first stitch, and complete your stitch for your triple or treble. Pull it through three times total. Yarn over and three. Now we're going to do two more. We need three total in this very first stitch right here. So the chain does not count as a stitch. So this is stitch number one that we just completed. Wrap it twice, stick it in that same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Right? So that's two triple crochets. We're going to do another one right in that same stitch. Awesome. So now we have our chain and we have one, two, three triple crochets in that first stitch. Now we're going to chain one, we're going to skip the next stitch, and we're going to do a triple crochet in the next. Wrap it twice and go into that skip one, go into the next right here. All right, now we are going to work into, skip one into the next, so do a triple right here. You, this one right now should be the next stitch over from your stitch marker. So your stitch marker's in this one, we're working to the one right to the right of it, or left if you're a lefty. So make a triple right there, beautiful. Now we are going to chain one and triple crochet three times in this center stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this stitch marker. I'm going to chain one, triple, in that stitch. Chain one, triple in that stitch. Chain one, triple in that stitch. This is all going into that same stitch. Now that I've got my center stitches done, I want to go ahead and add my stitch marker back in here. This is the center stitch from this three, right? So you've got one, two, three. I'm gonna put my stitch marker right in the top, oops, of that center treble crochet right there. So that's where my stitch marker goes to mark the very center stitch, right? So that next row, when we get there, we know exactly where that is. <clears throat> now we're going to chain one, we're going to triple crochet in the very next stitch, so this one right here, right here, do a treble crochet. Now we're going to chain one, we're going to get ready for a triple crochet, skip that one, the very next one, and then triple crochet into the one after that. Now we are going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and this is our very first one from last row. We're going to do three triple crochets in the very last. You kind of got to turn it a little bit to see it, but this is that very first stitch from the last row. So we're going to do three trebles, no chaining or anything, just three triples right in the end of that row. Okay, let's take a look. <clears throat> I'm 
Looking good, looking good. So now we've got, here, let's flip it over. So now we've got three triples in this first stitch. We skipped one, triple, skip, triple, three with chains in the middle in the center stitch, chain one, go into the very next, skip, chain, treble, skip, chain three in the last stitch, right? So at the end of row three, this is row three that we just completed, you should have 21 stitches total. Let's work on row four. So on row four, we are alternating triple and half double crochet rows. Now we're going to do a half double row, which means we're going to chain one, we're going to turn, we're going to do three half double crochets in this very first stitch. One, two, and three. Now we're going to half double crochet in the next nine stitches. This will be one, two, and now, now you're going to be going, you would go into this chain, but I find it a heck of a lot easier to go around the chain space instead. So we're going to go around that whole chain space like this and complete that half double. Now we'll go into the top of the next triple. It's just a whole heck of a lot faster than trying to go into that chain every time. So now we'll go around and now we'll go into and around and into and around and now we've made it to our center stitch so we should have the first three that we did one two three and now we should have nine more half doubles before we get to the center stitch one two three four five six seven eight nine perfect remove your stitch marker do three half double crochets in that very center stitch. One, two, three. Mark your stitch again, the center one of the three that you just did. There we go. Now we're going to do nine more half double crochets until we get to the bottom here. So your very next one is going to go in that chain space right here. and then into the stitch, around that chain space, into the stitch, around, in, around, in, and then this one, these are your triple crochets, so there's no chain space here, so you're just going to go right into the top of that next triple. So now that should be nine after we placed our center stitches. So this is the center, so that's still center right there. So in between my thumbs here, we should have nine total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful. Now we're going to do three in the very last right here. So we'll go one. two, and three. Great. At the end of row four, it should look like this, and we should have a total of 27 half double crochets going around the top portion here. All things included. So now we will get ready to start row five, which since we just finished a half double cr crochet row, we are going to be moving on to the triple or the treble. To start row five, we are going to do our chain three, turn, we're going to do three treble crochets right in that first stitch. Remember the chain three does not count as a stitch. Ok, 
Okay, now that we've got our three in that beginning chain or stitch, we are going to do chain one. We're going to skip the next stitch right here and we're going to do a treble in that next right here. We're going to repeat this, the whole chain, treble, skip, next, right? We're going to repeat this five more times. Skip, treble, chain, skip, treble, chain, skip, treble, chain, skip, treble. Now that we've made it to the center, let's take a look and count this real quick. So we've got the three that we started with, and then we skipped and trebled right here. And then we did that five more times, so one, two, three, four, five. That gets you right to your center stitch, so now in the center, we're going to do this increase bit again, right? I'm going to remove my stitch marker. In the center stitch, we are going to chain one and triple crochet. Chain one, triple crochet. Chain one, triple crochet. So those are your center stitches, right? Into that center stitch that we had from that last row, we put three right in there together. So now I'm going to put my stitch marker in the top of the middle of that right there. Lovely. Now we are going to chain one, we're going to do a treble in the very next stitch right here so that it mirrors the other side. Now we're going to do the chain one, skip one, treble crochet bit. We're going to do that five more times to mirror what we did on the other side. So chain one, skip one, treble in the next. That's one. Two. Three, four, and five. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to do three in the very last. So it's three treble crochets in the very last. No chaining or anything, just three right next to each other. Okay, let's take a look. This is the end of row five. Cute, right? So we've got our three trebles on each side and then we've got the mirrored sides so that the center lines up very nice and then on each side we've got these skipped and trebles all the way. Now we are going to start row six which is going to be a half double crochet row. Let me reset my camera then we'll start on row six. All right we are going to chain one, turn, we're going to do three half double crochets in that first stitch. One, and two, and three. We're going to do half double crochets in the next 17 stitches, which will get us to right before this stitch marker right here. So we're going to do 17 half doubles. We're going to go this one right here. One, two, and now this one is a chain stitch, so we're going to go around that one. Three, go in for four, around for five, in for six, around seven, in eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, and the 17th is going to be one around that chain space right there. So now we've got our 17, so we're going to remove that stitch marker. We're going to do three half double crochets in the very center stitch. Replace your stitch marker. Very center stitch. Now we are going to half double crochet in that chain space and make sure that we have 17 when we get to the end. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's no chains here, so we're just going to go 16, 17. And then we'll, now that we're at the last one, we're going to do three in that last one right there. So one. And then two and three. So now is the point in the pattern where I would like you to measure for your gauge. If you're using a yarn other than the recommended ones in the pattern, you're going to, well you should anyway, you should me uh, measure it, but if you're using especially a different yarn than I recommend, you're going to want to ch check your gauge because otherwise it's going to come out really big or really little. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our measuring tape and we're going to lay it out across the top here of the width across the bottom. It should be pretty close to seven inches. If you're like at six and a half, 6.34 or six and three quarters right here, or maybe seven and a quarter, that's okay. If you get more like six or eight or anything farther than about a quarter over half an inch, um, you're gonna wanna rethink your hook size. If you need to go up to a K, a 6.5 millimeter, that's okay. Um, just make sure that you're hitting this measurement. From the very top of your center stitch to the beginning where we started right here, here, it should be about four inches. So you want four and seven. If you're pretty close to that number, then you're good and we may continue on. <laughs> so on row seven, we are going to chain three, which are not going to count it as a stitch. We're going to get ready for our triple crochet turn so that you're looking at the back side. Now we're going to do three triple crochets in that very first stitch. One, two, three. Now we're going to start that whole skip, chain, treble business. Okay, so I got ready for that. I chained one, got ready for my treble. I'm going to skip this one right here and go into this one with a triple. And then we're going to repeat that nine more times. So skip, go into this one, chain one, Skip one, go into the next, chain, skip that one right there and go into the next, chain one, skip, go into the next, chain one, skip, go into the next, chain one, skip, go into the next, complete nine more times. Let's take a look. We are now to our center stitch here, right where our stitch marker is.
we want to make sure that we have the three that we started with skip treble and we're going to do that nine more times so one two three four five six seven eight nine more times right for a total of ten so you've got three and then ten now in our center stitch we're going to do that hoo-ha where we do the chain one triple three times in a row right so we're going to chain one treble chain one treble chain one treble there's your center stitch now we're going to take our stitch marker we're going to replace that in the center most of those three so this one right here okay now to start the other half we're going to chain one we're going to do treble in the very next stitch right here and that makes it a mirror image now we're going to do that chain one skip one go into the next for nine more times so that it's even on both sides We are at the last, so I chained one, and we're going to do three in the very last stitch. No chains, just three right next to each other. Ta-da! Ooh, my yarn color is changing. How fun. I'm going to have to zoom out here in a minute. So we've got our row seven which has your three to begin with, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten total. One, and repeat nine times. We've got our center stitch here, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten total, and three in the last, so that they are complete mirror images of each other. Now we are going to do row eight, which is a half double crochet row. We're going to chain one and turn we're going to do three half double crochets in that first stitch. Now we're going to do half double crochets in the next 25, which will get us to the center. Remember, these have no chains in between them, so we'll just go into the top of these. Since there are no chains to go around, one, two, and now we'll go around and in all the way to the center That's 25. So now we've got all of our half double crochets going up this whole side here. We've made it to the center, so we're going to do our three half double crochets right in that center stitch. Mark it again. Now, start with the very next chain space 
and half double crochet to the end of the row which should be 25 until you get to the last stitch. We're at the last, so we're going to do three in that very last stitch. I do highly recommend counting your rows, maybe not every row, but at least the triple crochet rows to make sure that you're on track um, if you're working this pattern for the first time. So now we are at, I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit, we are at the end of row eight. So now we're going to work row nine. Now let me reset my camera. We'll work row nine and ten, and then we'll be ready for armholes. For row nine, since we just completed a half double crochet row in row eight, we are going to do a treble crochet row on this next one. We're going to chain three, turn, and we're going to start the whole treble crochet business again. Same exact thing with more in the center stitch and it's just a different number of repeats. How many times are we going to do it? Since each row gets bigger and bigger, we're still always going to do these first three trebles in that very first So now we are going to chain one, we're going to skip that next stitch and we're going to go into the next. Chain one, skip, go into the next. We're going to do this 13 more times, which should put us right at that center stitch again. Skip, treble. Chain, skip, treble, chain, skip, treble, That last one, and then these beginning rows, that last stitch should always be right next to your center. So we should have the three, and then the first time, and we should repeat that 13 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's beautiful. Now we are going to remove that stitch marker, chain one, triple, three times. One. two, three. Replace your marker. Chain one, trouble in the very next. Now do your chain skip treble all the way to the end.
So now that we are to the end, we're going to do our chain one and we're going to do three treble crochets right here in this last stitch. And this will be the end of row nine. So the same, this is the same pattern for the child sizes all the way up until this point and the adult small and adult medium. The large, the only big difference for the large size is that these come out a little bit more um, on the front end here, so it kind of slopes like this instead of being more flat, if that makes sense. So as long as you're making a child size, an adult small or adult medium, which the medium goes up to size, dress size 16, the large is um, the plus size version of the pattern, um, it should all be the same, right? So now that we've completed row nine, we are going to do a half double crochet row where we're gonna do our half double crochet all the way back around. So I'm going to chain one here, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna do three half double crochets in the first, we're gonna do half double crochet in that next stitch that is not a chain right there, that's your stitch, right? Those are your triple crochets. Go into those trebles until you get to a chain. So that's a chain, we're gonna go around that. Now we're going to do this 33 times. So we did our three, now we're gonna do 33 more. Last one always goes in a space. We're going to do our remove our stitch marker and do three in that center stitch. Two, three. Replace your stitch marker before you lose it. Your spot, not your stitch marker. <laughs> before you lose where you need to mark it, put that in. Now, the first one after that center is always going to be in a chain space. So go in that chain space and complete your half double crochets to the end of the row, which should be 33 more to mirror the other side. When we get to the end, we're going to do three half double crochets in that very last stitch. Get to the end, I'm gonna put three right in this last one. And then we are going to get ready to do our armhole row. Armhole rows are all different depending on what size you're making. They start at different rows and they're different sizes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we are going to be making the smallest size. We're going to have our armhole row next, which for this size is going to be row 11. All right, let's get ready to start our armhole row. Keep in mind that armhole rows will start on different row numbers. Sometimes it's going to be 11 like we're doing here. It might be 13, 15. It could be up to 21. It just depends on what size you're making. Also, keep note that this is triple crochet row and the number that you do here is going to depend on the size of your armhole. So follow the pattern that you are making, not necessarily these stitch counts. All right. This row in particular you need to read very carefully. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. For this size we're going to chain three and I'm going to do two triple crochets in this first one. For other sizes, we'll do three here, so make sure you look at that in your pattern. For the smaller sizes, like I'm doing now, we're doing two. So two in that very first stitch. Now I'm going to do that chain, skip, triple, and we're going to do that as many times as your pattern tells you to do on the armhole row. This size right here tells me to do it six times. So I will do this six more times and then we're going to stop and count. Let's see where we're at. So we've got the first two there's that first one and we need it six more. One, two, three, four. Five. And six. 
Remember to look at this row on the pattern for the size that you're making. They're all different. Okay, I know I've said that like five times, but it's important. Okay, so here's the first one. Here's the, ch the two that we did in the first. There's one. So one, two, three, four, five, six more times. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chain our armhole and reattach over here. Look at the pattern that you're making for the size. For this size, I have an armhole chain of 10. So I'm going to chain 10 right now. Perfect. So I've got my chain of 10. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my stitches here. I'm going to skip 10 and I'm going to do one of these triples in the 11th, okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to do a triple crochet in the next. After the chain, or after the chain is never fun to do the, your triple crochet, but um, with a little patience, you can get it wrapped right. So we have a chain 10 here, or 12 or 20, or whatever you're doing for the size you're making, and then you skip that many down here, and you do that triple crochet in the next, right? Now we are going to do the chain triple, chain triple business until we get to the middle, right? On this row, the center stitches change. They change so that the point here is less pronounced. So let's follow the pattern. We've done our armhole. Now we're going to chain, skip, treble. For this size, I'm going to do this five more times. So that pulls me to where I still have one open stitch right here. I think that's kind of confusing if you're not watching the video and just crocheting it. So definitely take note that you should have one little loosey-goosey uh, stitch all by itself. Okay, let's zoom out and take a look. We, counting this part right here, this whole row, is extremely important. This is where I've gotten the most questions on this entire pattern is right here. So do your two or your three depending on what size. Do your first one, and then repeat that as many times as it says. Now you do your chain, skip that many, triple crochet in the next, do your repeat business as many times as it says. For this size, it says five more times. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we have one more stitch before we get to the center. So if you're reading along, which I highly encourage, you should chain one and triple crochet in the very next in this one right here. Now I'm going to remove my stitch marker. I'm going to, you're going to repeat that chain triple in the next. You're going to repeat that three more times so that you've got a chain, triple, chain, triple, chain, triple so that you have these all in a row like that. Go into that very next one. I'm going to go ahead and mark this stitch. Chain, treble in the very next one. Chain, treble in the very next one, right here. Now let's take an up close look at this center because it is different than the others have been so far. When you get to this end, we've got all of these repeats here where we've skipped these, right? So treble skip, treble skip. Then we've got that one in right here. This is our last one. Then we do the chain treble in the next, and then we chain treble repeat one more time, chain two more times, chain 
three more times. So what's happened here is that where our stitch marker is right here, we've got this one and then we've got one on either side and then we've got one on either side of that. So this will be your new center. We're going to continue our repeats from here to where we skip one so that it will match up on this side. We'll put our treble here which matches up with this one. Then we'll skip this one which matches up with this one. And then we'll treble, treble, etc, etc, right? So when you get to the center of the armhole row, pay very close attention that you've got one, two, three, four, five right next to each other. The one in the very middle is your center stitch. Of course, if you have any questions or need more help, then definitely shoot me an email or a message on Facebook. So now, since we got past that center stitch, we are going to chain one, skip one, treble in the next. We're going to repeat this five more times. So this is one. This will be two. This will be three. This will be four, and this will be five. If you want to go ahead and count those out and make sure that you're all lined up, that's okay too. So here's your center. You've got these two, these, 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 and then these are the last ones. And now we're going to do an armhole on this side to match this side, okay? Mirror image is what we're going for. So in order to do that, we're going to chain 10, or however many you are doing for your pattern. Now we are going to skip 10 stitches. We're going to triple crochet into the next, right here. I find that if I hold this chain down like this, especially right when you're attaching after that chain, it kind of helps to keep it from turning too much. Oops. All right, so now that you've got that triple crochet after your skips, then you're going to repeat the skip, triple, skip, triple as many times as it says until you get to the end. For this size right here, we're going to do it six more times. So that gets us to the end of this row. Now at the end of this row, we are going to skip or chain one, skip the next one, and we're going to do our final triple crochets in the end here. For this size, there are two trebles in this end. Sometimes, sometimes it's three. So definitely read the size that you're making. I know I say that all the time. I'm sorry. It's important. <laughs> okay, so now we have completed the armhole row, right? So we've got even numbers of here, so they are a mirror image on both sides. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do our half double crochet row. We're going to work our way back up with these half double crochets, paying very close attention to the armhole chains. Zoom in. Do your chain one to start your half double crochet row and turn so that we're looking at the other side. Now, follow the pattern that you're making. You're going to start with your half double crochets in here. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three, depending on the size that you're making. This one requires two half double crochets in that first stitch. One, two. Now, I'm going to do half double crochet in the next 15 stitches. That will be different for every size. Go into the top of that next stitch. 
When you get to the chain, go around the chain into the top, around, in. And what you're doing is you're doing your half double crochets in the same manner until you reach your armhole chains, right? So it doesn't matter what size you're making, you're going to end at that last triple before you hit your armhole chain. So, of course, that's going to be different for different sizes. Okay, let's take a look. So I've got the first two that I put here, and then I should have 15 more, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, now we are going to skip the first chain here and we're going to half double crochet in the next. Loosely. Doesn't have to be super loose, but you don't want it super tight either. We're, we're not going to chain anything. We're going to skip the next chain and we're going to do a half double crochet right in that next and keep it kind of loose. And you're going to repeat this, skip, half double, all the way across this chain for as many repeats as it says. Skip, half double. When you get to the end of the chain, you're going to skip, go into that very last chain there. No matter what size you're making, your last half double crochet across that chain is going to end in the last chain before that triple crochet. Okay? So for this size, we I like to pull it just a little bit, it helps those stitches settle. So we went into this triple crochet here. Let me zoom back in. Okay, we went into this triple crochet here, which is the last one before our armhole, right? Skipped one, half double crochet in the next, skip, repeat, skip, repeat, skip, repeat, skip, repeat. So for this one, I repeated, there's the first one, one, two, three, four times. It's gonna be different for your size. Now, for the very next stitch, we're going to do our half double crochet in the top of that treble crochet, right? So right into the top of that treble crochet. Lovely, just like that. Now you're going to do as many half double crochets as it says until you get to the top right here. For this size, that's going to be 13. One, two, around three, in four, around five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and just like before, your last half double crochet is always going to end in that space right there before you get to your center stitch. Now I'm going to do three half double crochets in my center stitch like I've been doing all along. One, two. Man, could that color change have been any more perfect? <laughs> Look at how that is right on the corner. That's funny. In the middle of that stitch even. Now we're going to do half double crochets until we get to this triple crochet right here, right? Right before the armhole again. So you're going to do it as many times as your pattern says. Make sure you start in that chain space first. This size is 14. Two, three, four, five, Ok, 
Okay, so this is my last one before we get to the armhole chain. Now, in order to make it mirror the other side, we are going to do our loose half double crochets where we skip one half, skip one half double, skip one half double, right? So that it mirrors the other side, we're going to do our very first one in this first chain on this side. So go into the very first one and do your pretty loose half double crochet. And now we're going to repeat that across. Skip, go into the next. Skip, go into the next. Skip, half double. Skip, half double. So this should be the same number on both armholes, okay? You should have the same number of half double crochets on both sides of your armhole chain. So we had five across on this side. So we've got one here, which would be the very first one, and one, two, three, four, right? Four more times. Now, when you get to the end of the second armhole, you're going to skip that last chain, and you're gonna half double crochet in the top of that triple. Now, you are going to half double crochet until you get to the end over here, which on this size is going to be 14 until we get to the end. This is my 14th. Now that I get to the end, I'm gonna do my final stitches in this one. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three, depending on the size. All right, so now, woo, we have completed the armhole rows, like legit completed them. So exciting. So, and look at that color change. That's just insane, isn't it? So now we've got two little armholes here. And the way that we've done these, it really helps to cinch up the underarm here. So now what we're going to do for the rest of the pattern, all we're going to do is repeat this business that we did earlier where we did all the triples and then half and then trebles and then half and then trebles and then half. And we're just going to continue that until we get the length that we want. So there is a difference in the centers from here on out. So let's do that. Let me reset my camera and we will start on row 13 of this 12 month size cardigan. All right, so we are ready to start row 13. This is a treble crochet row, so I'm going to chain three. Zoom in a little bit here. Check your pattern. You're either going to do two or three in this first one. This pattern calls for two trebles right here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do next, a reposition, we're going to do our chain, skip, treble. We're going to complete that until we get to the center stitches. Under the arm here, when you get to these wider half double crochets that are across that armhole, they may look a little funky just this first row, they will work themselves out. Trust me, it is imperative. I tried this, my first run at this pattern, I did not have these decreases along the bottom of the armhole like this, and it did not look right. So trust in the pattern. Continue your chain, skip, treble. Now the number of repeats that you do, of course, again, as ever, is going to depend on the size. So right now I'm going to be doing 17 
more repeats. So once we get to the center here, we will count these so that we make sure that we're counting correctly on your own. As you can see, now that we're past the armhole, when we get to the center, your center stitch or your last stitch is going to be right next to your center again. Remember how last time there was one stitch missing? Not this time. Let's zoom out a little bit and let's take a look at what we've got going on. So we've got our beginning stitch right here where we put either two or three depending on your size. Chain, skip, treble. Repeat that as many times as your pattern states. So this one for this size is 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Beautimus. Beautimus. Let's go back in. Now the center st stitches change at this point, right? So this is our center stitch. What we're going to do is we're going to chain one. Do your treble in that center stitch. Mark it with your stitch marker when you're done. Now you're going to repeat that one more time, which means that you're going to do a chain one and treble crochet in the next stitch. Just like you just did. Very next. Do not skip. So let's take a look at this. This is your center now. Instead of the three together, you're doing three in a row. Okay, so here's the last of our repeats right here. Then we did a chain one treble in the very center, which we marked. Then we did that one more time, chain into the very next. Now, since this is our new center, we've got these right here. For the rest of the pattern, all the way until the end, we want one, two, three, right next to each other, just like this. Only three in successive stitches with a chain in between. So last triple of the repeats coming up this side here. Chain, triple, chain, triple. Now we're going to start again going down this side with our chain, skip, treble, chain, skip, treble, chain, skip, treble, all the way down. So let's count this. When you get to the end here where you've only got your skip and your last triples right there, you want to make sure that you count so that you have the correct number, right? So to do that, you're going to look at your, after the armhole rows, right? You're going to look at the center stitch. This is the one that you repeated. So now your repeats per the pattern start right at this one. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, which is exactly what we should have at this point. Now, when you get to the end, you're going to do your chain one and you're going to do your final triple crochets in the last stitch right here, whether it's two or three. No chains right next to each other. Great. Now we are ready to move on to row 14 or the next row. You're going to do your half double crochet row. So chain one, turn so that you're looking at the bottom. You're going to do your starting half doubles right here. By this time, most of the patterns should be two. Just make sure you're following along with the size. Half double crochet in each stitch and chain space until you get to the center. On this pattern right now that should be a total of 38 stitches until I get to the center. So my last one is going into that chain space again as always. Now I'm going to remove my stitch marker. I'm going to do three half double crochets right in that center stitch. mark it again.
and you're going to do your half double crochets starting with that chain space right next to center and all the way down to the end of the row. And after this point, after you've reached this part where you've only got the three in the center stitches on your triple crochet rows, it's all downhill from here. The trickiest part is that armhole row and the one after it. But I think once you get the hang of it, it goes a lot faster. So I'm going to do my half double crochets all the way down to the end of this row. Then I'm going to continue with my treble and half double. When you get to the end, do your final stitches. One, two, three to start the new row. Turn. Now you're going to do your beginning, which like I said, for most patterns, uh, for most sizes, at this point you're down to two in the beginning. So I'm going to do my two right here. Now I'm going to do my skip, chain, treble, and I'm going to do that 19 more times now, just until I get to the center, and then we'll do, we'll do those repeats again. And that last one is always going to be, from this point out, it's going to be right next to that center stitch. And now remove your stitch marker. If you can do it faster than me, that's even better. Now you're going to do your chain one, triple in the center stitch right here. And you're going to repeat that one more time. So chain one and treble in the next. No skipping right into that next one. And we're going to mark that center stitch again before we lose it. And now we're going to repeat the chain one, skip one, treble all the way to the end. Now how many times you do this repeat? It should be a mirror image on both sides. And every time you do the treble crochet rows, you're going to increase the amount of trebles that you do by two on each side. So we did 17 last row. This row we do 19. Next row we'll do 21. So when I get to the end here, I did my chain. We're going to skip that last one, and we're going to go do our treble crochets right in the end. And so I'm going to do two right here. Perfect. Let's take a look. So now we've transitioned from doing all three of them in that center stitch. See these three in between my fingers? We've transitioned from doing all three in each one like this. Then on our armhole row, or right before, our, our, yeah, on our armhole row, we have the five that are in a row, right? Which we talked about when we did our armhole row. There should be one, two, three, four, five, right next to each other. Once you get past that armhole row, you're going to have three right next to each other, right? And now from here on out, all you really need to do is make sure that you're counting your stitches. Count, 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 count. I cannot stress that enough with this pattern. What I'm going to do, from here on out, all I'm going to do is I'm going to, since I did a triple crochet row, now I'm going to do a half double. And then I'm going to come back with another triple. And then I'm going to go back with another half double. And I'm just going to com complete that treble, half, treble, half, until we get it as long as we want. If you want yours to be longer than what the pattern is written for, just keep crocheting in the same sequence. Just keep adding more trebles until you get to the center. Do that center stitch and the next one. And then do keep doing your trebles all the way on the other side. And just keep adding to it as long as you want it to be. So I'm going to continue adding length until I get it as long as it needs to be for this size and then we're going to add some sleeves. Get ready. 
All right, we have finished with the body of the cardigan. I have gone as many rows as the pattern suggests, and it's looking super cute. Now all we have to do is add the sleeves. And I'm going to add the sleeves and the fringe if you want fringe on it. Um, I'm going to add the sleeves, and I'm going to use the pink because I want it to be nice and matched up with shoulders, kind of. If you're using a salad color yarn, then this is even easier for you. But what I've done is I have my cake here. I went ahead and removed the darkest pink. These are actually quite quite different pinks. So I want to start both of my sleeves with this dark pink color. In order to do that, I'm going to take from one end and start on this sleeve. I'm going to cr crochet a couple rows and then I'm going to start with the other end of the same pile of yarn and start over here. So I'm going to do a row over here and then a row over here and then another one and another one and another one and another one until I run out of this pink yarn. When I run out of this pink yarn then I will find all of this other pink here where it changes to yellow right here and I will tr clip it here wherever that changes and then I'll reattach with this yarn to continue my way. All right, guys, we are ready to start on our sleeve. So to get started, here's where we made those loose half double crochets, right, where we skipped one. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert our hook on the bottom right or bottom left if you're a lefty, and we're going to pull up a loop. Get our tail situated, all ready to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to half double crochet in each stitch and chain from this part right here, okay? Because we want to have 10 stitches or however many chains you did across your armhole, that's what we want to end up with across this bottom row. So we're going to do half double crochets in these stitches and these spaces. Now when I do the spaces, I like to go around the whole thing. It, it helps to stabilize the sleeve so that there's, you're not just going through one loop, you know? So we're going to do our half double crochets. We're going to do this all the way across. Now this is an actual stitch, so I'm going to go into the side of that right here. And now I'm going to do a half double crochet around that space right here. And then I'm going to go into the top of that next stitch. So I'm going to go at top of this one right here. And then next I'm going to go around that chain, right? half double. Now we're going to go into the top of that stitch, half double, and we're just going to alternate all the way till we get to the end of the armhole. And you should have um, a stitch count there, so 10 stitches so far, or 18 stitches so far, depending on the size that you're making. So I'm going to go ahead and count. I've got this one that I started with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So then I'm going to do around this one, nine, and in this one. This is going to be ten. So this is across the bottom of my armhole. Now we are going to do half double crochet four times evenly up the side of this triple crochet. So this triple crochet from our armhole row, you could either go around that and just do the whole thing. I've seen a lot of my testers do that for this pattern. Or you could go into the actual side, like through part of the triple crochet. It doesn't really matter. You really won't be able to tell. I'm going to go around this one because it's easier. If you want to go into the actual side, I would try to get like halfway like this, like go through that stitch, if that makes sense. It's a lot harder to do, but it's depending on how you want to do it. Either way is fine. So I'm going to do four half double crochets up the side like that. So now I've got one, two, three, four going up the side of that triple crochet. Now I'm going to look at the top of the armhole here and we're going to do 10 half double crochets across here. And this one's a lot easier because these stitches are more pronounced and we're not trying to go into the chains, etc. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten is my last one. So now we are back to this triple crochet. Let me reposition. We're back to this triple crochet. So that's the last stitch. This is the one that triple crochet is going into, so we don't go into that one. What we're going to do is we're going to do our four around that triple crochet, or through it if you want. Either way is perfectly fine. Around is definitely easier. Three and four. Now we're going to slip stitch, so we're going to join to that first half double right here, the very first one of that row. You want to go ahead and count your stitches to make sure that you have the required number. I know that I do because I just counted it out, but if you want to go through and count them, I recommend doing that. So I, right now, for the size that I'm making, should have 28 stitches around. Now, to start row two, we're going to do a triple crochet row. So on these sleeves, to start the next treble crochet row, you're going to chain four, which is different than what we've been doing. Okay, so you've got four. This counts as a treble crochet here and a chain stitch. So now we're going to turn it to where we're looking at the other side. Okay, we are going to skip this first one and we're going to do a triple crochet in this one. Skip, treble. And now you're going to do the skip, chain, treble. Same way we've been doing all the way before. Chain one, skip, treble. And when you get back around, make sure you count those triple crochets. Okay, the last one that you do, you should have an extra stitch left over. Okay, so you want that one right there. This is where that's coming out of, so you want to skip that one. Do another chain at the very end, and then you're going to join to the top of the third, so the third chain, which is this one right here, right? So one, two, three. We're going to join with a slip stitch into that one right here. So now when you count these, you want to make sure that you count the chain that you did as a stitch. That is a stitch. So you're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all the way around. I have 14. So now, to start the next row, we're going to chain 1 and turn so that you're looking at the other side. Marie position. Now you're going to half double crochet just like you have been the rest of the pattern. We're going to go around that one and into this one. Around this one, into this one. Complete this all the way around.
when you get to the last one you'll notice that you don't really have a triple crochet to go into so we just do two around this chain right here just to keep it uniform. So we'll just do two around the chain instead of going into the top one on that last one. Now join to the top of the first half double crochet with a slip stitch. Now we're going to do our chain four and prepare for our triple. We're going to turn, we're going to skip that first one right here and we're going to do a treble right here. And when you get to the end, you should have one open stitch left. You're going to chain one and you're going to join to the third chain over here. So this one right here. Now we're going to chain one, turn. We're going to do a half double crochet row all the way around. two around that last chain because we don't have a triple crochet to go into so just do two around that and then join to the top of the first half double. Okay, so now you're going to repeat those two rows however many times the pattern says. So this one I'm going to repeat it twice so I've already done it once so all I need is one more row of triple crochets. So I'm going to chain four, I'm going to turn, I'm all tangled up here, I'm going to skip that first one there and triple in the next and complete that sequence all over again. My favorite way to make fringe, since this cardigan, the bottom row is yellow, I'm going to pull from the yellow so that my fringe kind of goes with this. I might end up using a little bit of this lighter pink, but I'm going to try to shoot for mostly yellow. So I'm going to grab where my yellow comes out from the middle. I'm going to get myself a book, a hardcover book, right? What you're going to do is you're going to take your yarn and on the back side of your book, put it right here, right at the top where that meets up, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect, just up here on the top. Now you're going to take your yarn and you're going to wrap it like this. Pull my yarn over here. Wrap it like this. Around and around and around and around all the way. Of course I got yarn barf. Just keep wrapping, keep wrapping. Try to shoot for a book that's about 10 inches tall and that will give you about four and a half inch fringe after folding and securing. So I'm going to just keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping until I think I've got enough, which I don't, but I'm going to go ahead and stop now for the video's sake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my yarn here. I wouldn't normally. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and I'm going to hold my yarn really tight and I'm going to take my scissors and cut right along here. Now when you do this you need to make sure that you're holding this yarn down also because it will spring up and you don't want it to do that. You want to hold that down nice and tight and just go in, cut them a little bit at a time if you need to. Make sure that you're pushing down on that book pretty hard while you're doing this. Okay, now very carefully turn it like this and cut it up the other side. 
this one got away, so I'm going to trim it right there. So now I have a very nice stack of all evenly cut fringe, and I have a ton of it, and it only took me about, what, 30 seconds? So I'm just going to continue making fringe like that. If you want um, longer fringe, then just get a taller book, right? So what we're going to do when we attach these, let's go ahead and attach a couple of them together. I'm going to start at one end of the cardigan, okay? I like to grab my hook. I like to grab three strands of yarn, find the middle, or as close to the middle as you can, don't have to be too picky with it. Find the very outermost stitch of your cardigan, stick your hook in there, hook your yarn, pull it through, Make sure that it's even, or as even as can be. Looks pretty good. Now we're going to just pull it on through like this. There we go. So now with this pattern, what I've been doing is every other stitch, putting in three strands of yarn every other stitch. Make sure they're even before you start pulling. And then go ahead and pull it through and pull to secure. Try not to pull too hard on the stitch, like don't yank it like this because you'll kind of warp those stitches a little bit. But I try to like take the knot and push it down a little bit with my hand. So then I'm going to skip the next one. I'm gonna go into that next one. And I'm just gonna continue adding three strands of fringe all along the bottom of this cardigan, every other stitch. And that is all there is to it, to the It's Shawl Good Cardigan. Not too hard, not too hard. I hope you enjoyed this pattern, and I look forward to creating more with you. Thank you for watching. I can't wait to see your finished projects.